Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog, and today on the Fjordor map of Ark Survival Evolved, we're going to do some loot crate farming. And we're over here by the Redwoods and these two waterfalls, and we're going to head over this way to the Bug Cave, and we'll get the location once we get down to the entrance. Got this little path and this little horizontal tree laying down above me. Let's hop out and take a look at our location. So we're at 10.0 degrees latitude and 84.3 degrees longitude. And we're way over in the north uh, east corner of the map. Let's uh, add a little light to our guy here. So let's drag that on here. So this cave is pretty crazy with bugs. And I did a video, which I'll put a, a link in the description, about how to get lots of cementing paste and stuff in here. But it'll probably become pretty obvious to you when we get down here. Um, so we do have some bears and some other stuff. We're just gonna fly straight past everything. And then this is where it gets really buggy and there's a fork in the road. We're gonna take the left fork. We're not gonna stick around because we don't want to get into a bunch of Meganera. So sometimes we have loot crates spawning in here, but it doesn't look like they are have spawned in yet. So sometimes I don't know why on single player, but the loot crates don't spawn in right away, but here's one of them. And you're going to obviously want to bring something with the grappling hook. The Desmodus is the best way to go for this. But a grappling hook or um, a thylo works pretty good. And then we're going to head up this way. So we've got a kind of this crystal stairway here and we can fly straight up through here. And then this is where the artifact of the strong is going to be. And there should also be a bunch of loot crates. So we got one so far. This will make two. So we're getting some pretty good gear here. I'm on single player. And uh, so my settings are probably, or my loot is probably just a little bit higher than it would be on official. So basically every, everywhere we go on these ledges could be a loot crate. Um, so here's the artifact. We'll go ahead and grab that right away too while we're waiting. And so usually we get two loot crates spawning in this little cavernous area. And uh, now we're going to head up. So we came in. Let's see where did we come in. So we came in that way. And by the way, I've never seen any creatures spawn in this particular area. So it's usually a pretty safe place to hang out. So then we can fly up this little kind of pathway and this little shelf and we can fly down into this area and we'll usually get one or two loot crates we we'll usually get one spawning down here there's one up here right now and dismounting from these things is a little tricky and that's kind of your biggest worry i think with these guys there we go and so here's another one so we're getting all ascendant gear right now so, okay, so while what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for everything to respawn in. And we'll, um, I think, well, obviously there's some sarcos and stuff down here. So this is not a great place to hang out and uh, wait around. So we're just going to come back just the way we came in. And we're going to fly in this way. And now we're just going to wait around for the artifact to respawn in and uh, the loot crates. So I'm going to time and see how long it takes for those things to come back around. Okay, so it's been about oh, it's been about eight minutes. Um, I took the torch off and put it back on just now, and we've got one more loot crate over here. Artifacts spawned in really fast in about two minutes, so we'll see uh, what we got. So okay, here's another loot crate has spawned in. Yeah, I think it should be okay here. Yeah, there we go. Wow, we got ascendant gauntlets 1300 armor okay so let's go this way first so there's another two we'll see if we got any more down in this first area let's see if any creatures have spawned in down this way as well so this is where we came in again so any of these shelves here can spawn loot crates like here's one right up here I'm a little bit worried about this. Now, for some reason, sometimes this is full of creatures and sometimes it isn't. Right now, I guess we got a lot of 
to oh yeah now we've got all kinds of stuff spawned in so when we first came in there was nothing spawned in here now it's full of thylas and bears not a particularly uh, safe place to be so we don't want to fall down there get some mushrooms here okay so we got two in here and two in the other place I think I don't know is it just two or three yep there's the second one okay so now we are at four if I can get out of here there we go all kinds of good stuff send it trike saddle okay so I just gotta remember okay this is the way I have to go so there's yeah so we were up to four of the uh, sort of deep sea loot crate style stuff with excellent loot so there's our artifact again so we're gonna head back this way again up this little area and get hopefully at least one more crate and so this is less than 10 minutes so there's one so we're up to five now let's see going this way there we go and six so six loot crates plus whatever we got the first time which I think was five um, so we've got 11 loot crates in about 12 minutes or something like that Ooh, the dire bear saddle. Uh oh, <laughs> I should be paying attention. There we go. Anybody else? There we go. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was sleeping at the wheel here. So this is a, just a super great place to come and get loot crates. Um, especially if you got a bat. So just remember, hey, don't be do what I did. And uh, yeah, there's stuff down there. So let's go grab another artifact of the strong here and we'll put it on our otter and then we're going to go to the other cave that has the best loot crates in my opinion on this map so there's our otter oh i thought he's going to run away for a second let's give him a melee damage the old artifact of the strong and then we'll grab this one okay we're going to head to the next spot now we're coming up to my second favorite place here, which has the artifact of the Sky Lord. It is a very dangerous and cold cave, but it's also kind of fun. So let's get the location here and check that out. So we're at 8.3 degrees latitude and 24.2 degrees longitude, way up here in the northwestern corner of the map. So let's get ourselves prepared, get our shotgun out. And I think I'm going to try the bat this time. We're going to fly straight in. I also brought along a dire bear, but mostly we're going to try to avoid uh, the creatures. So there is a lot of really high-end bears. Perlovias are a huge problem in here and some other stuff. So once again, I'm not sure if we are going to have a problem with the loot crates not spawning in when we actually enter um, here. But we'll... Uh, if there is, then we'll just wait a few minutes for things to spawn in. There's usually one right down there, and oftentimes there's one down here, but we have no glowing, so we'll just go ahead and wait a minute. Okay, waited around a minute. Haven't seen anything spawning in down there, but we do have a loot crate that's back this way. Unfortunately, it's full of wolves over here, so I'm going to try to lure these guys away. Come on, guys. Let's get out this way. I don't really want to deal with them if I don't have to. Because they are pretty high-end dire wolves. So we're just going to have them go off this way. If we do have a crate spawn down there, then we're going to have to deal with them. But for right now... Alright, we'll just take out these two real quick, hopefully. Hopefully. Go down, please. They're almost down. There we go. Two down. Okay, so those guys are down. Alright, so let's go over here. Oh, sometimes you can't get through here. Anyway, we've got it here. <laughs> we've got Ascendant Sniper Rifle. That is very sweet. Definitely worth the wait. I gotta watch this guy's health though, because it is getting low. So we're gonna fly off down this way. And we're really going to be mindful of a couple of things here. One is perlovias, and one are these things. 
So these are pits of death. You fall down there, it's incident death. So this is something you definitely don't want to do. And we're going to look for the little Perlovia mounds. And so we don't see any of those. So we're going to grab this loot crate. So we got some pretty good blueprints right there. Now we're going to head up this way. Sometimes we get a loot crate up here. And let's head down this way. There's the Sky Lord. It's actually pretty low as far as the amount of creatures go. Usually there's a ton over here. But let's do this. So we're going to grab this and then we're going to wait and see if we get any more loot crates to spawn in. Well, it's been about nine minutes and the Skylord just spawned back in, so I'm going to grab that. You could see a glow in the distance that showed there was a uh, loot crate that had spawned in. So let's grab our Skylord here. There we go. And we'll put it back on Otter since he can carry a couple at a time. So let's do that. Let's also put this back on here for a little bit more light for you guys. Let's head off this way. So I know there's one spawned in. Not up here. There it is over in this area. Oh, come on. I don't want to jump off into the abyss over there. There we go. Anything? Eh, gotcha saddle and a Mosasaur saddle. Whoa, <laughs> we had one spawn in just behind us. There we go, or I didn't notice it when we were flying over here, one of the two. So there we go, so this is our second one. Ooh, an apprentice, or excuse me, ascendant stone pick. I'm pretty excited about that. Being sarcastic, of course. All right, let's head back out where we came. Again, we gotta be real careful of Perlovias and see if anything else has respawned in here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got loot crates in both spots that we had before. So this is going to be our third one. Got a really nice hatchet there. It's better than any hatchet I currently have. Okay, so now we've got problems. <laughs> we've got all kinds of wolves and stuff. So i got to find a good place to land and start shooting. So we've got saber two salmon down there. There's also, I guess we'll just probably go from where we started here. Um, and there's angler fish down there, so there are slightly dangerous fish. Okay, I think that thing's dead. Come on, wolf. Let's reload. There we go, that wolf's down. Is there another one? He's just having trouble getting over here. There, got rid of that one, level 185. I've heard that these are tameable, but I have not tried, and it doesn't seem right. Although it certainly may be true. So there's a Perlovia over there, but there is a loot crate down here. You can see the glow, and one of the weird things here is it is hard to get on and off this thing. Okay, I'm just gonna look around. I know there's out there it is. There we go. See so yeah, a level 210 Perlovia. Okay. So that should be it right down there. Just a little, one more look around. There it is. So this is number four loot crate if I have it. So we got an actual saddle for a Mosa. Uh, it can be really hard getting on these icebergs, but that didn't work out too poor, too badly at all. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could hang... Oh, hey, there's another one. So this would be number five. I did not notice that one. There we go. Some more good stuff. So some really good stuff that I got anyway. And we just um, fly back out that way, which is the way we came. But I'm kind of curious to see if anything... <laughs> <laughs> things spawn back in over this way probably shouldn't be pushing my luck but we'll check it out anyway but this cave can often be a lot more dangerous than it was today there's also uh, yetis here as well and yeah nothing new spawned back in here okay so let's head out and uh, we're gonna go look for some other loot crates but these are by far the two best caves for the numbers of loot crates that you can get and also the quality of loot crates are 
are extremely good. Oh, let's check out another spot down here. Usually there's a rock here that you have to break, but it's broken right now for some reason. So, hello, Mr. Mammoth. Let's check out our location here. So, we are at 3.4 degrees latitude and 32.7 degrees longitude. And we're not too far from the last spot. So, we're going to have to be a little bit careful over this way. This is where the artifact of the hunter is. And we can get ambushed by Perlovia. And uh, there's usually some onyx and stuff in here as well as uranios. So sometimes you get lucky though. And it looks like we're going to get lucky. So we're going to open up into this cavernous area around here. Here's our artifact of the hunter. So let's go ahead and grab that real quick. And we should see some loot crates. What the heck? I'm stuck. Weird. Oh, uh, just, yeah, okay. Should be some loot crates down below, but I think what I'm gonna do is hang around here on the wall. I'm gonna hang around here on the wall because you can get sarcos and stuff down below there. I'm gonna wait for a new artifact to spawn in, and then by that time, if there's a loot crate down there, it should be spawned in. Okay, so we got another artifact of the hunter right now. Let's get in position, and let's go ahead and grab it. So there we go. So we actually grabbed another one while I was waiting. So let's go down to here to see if we can get some artifacts. So do you have some sarcos over here? So while you're gone down below, this guy could get attacked. So just make sure it's on neutral or you could cryopod it too, I suppose, if uh, you want to be extra safe. I've brought along a megalodon because we can have a lot of piranha spawning down here. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And I'm just going to be extra cautious. So we're going to head down. Ooh, we got one. I'm going to ignore it for now, actually. See if we can find a loot crate down here. There's one. And I'm just going to wait for this, this guy to catch up. There we go. Did we get them all? I believe we did. Anybody else coming? They can aggro from quite a long ways off, so let's grab this. Hey, flippers. Cool. Just kind of curious to see what kind of flippers we have. What kind of durability? 717 durability versus 45. <laughs> Switch those out right away. And then a Megalocero saddle, which is no big deal. So I'm going to just swim around here real quick. See if there's any other loot crates. I think it's just one that spawns down here usually, but might as well double check. And so this isn't anywhere near as good as the first two locations, but I needed an artifact of the hunter anyway, so I thought I would grab this one. And there's going to be, there should be another one up above us here. So let's go check that out. I'll show you. There's kind of a, I don't know, secretish way out. So there we go. So let me switch back into my regular gear here. There we go. Okay. So let's hop up here, please. There we are. And then I'm going to gamma it down because it's really bright. So we're going to fly way up here, straight up here. And then here we go. Sometimes there's one here or over here. Yep, there we go. Okay. Grab this guy. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't really need a packy rhino saddle at all. And then we've got these cool guys over there. If you want to tame some of those, let's head out this way. And there should be, yep, a third one. So, yeah, there should be three, two to three here normally. That's a garbage thing. I do not need that. Then we can head back down the way we came, or we can head up this way. So this is kind of a piranha pit, so you don't want to go straight down below there for sure. And then we can just head straight up here. And there we go. And straight out this way. Got a little onic we got to deal with on the way out. But other than that, it's pretty good. I think we'll just stop at one more spot anyway. Another good spot to get a couple loot crates so you don't have to go too far to get them. So let's go up that way. 
One final run for loot crates. We're going to go over here to the Aberration Cave, and I'll show you that location if you haven't been here before. It's 56.9 degrees latitude and 84.8 .8 degrees longitude. So um, I'll put those uh, coordinates down in the description for you, too, uh, so you don't have to look too far. Let's uh, go ahead and put a torch on this saddle here. There we go. And we'll see if anything spawned in yet. So I do have that problem where loot crates and stuff do not spawn in right away. Um, so you do have to kind of wait around for them every once in a while. Well, I should say most times you have to wait around. And it looks like we're probably going to be in that situation right about now. Because I can't remember. Yeah, it should be spawning in right over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait a minute. Uh, this area can be also pretty dangerous with ravagers and stuff like that, and there aren't any right now. So let's just uh, wait this out. So the red drop doesn't seem to be spawning back in for some reason. So I'm going to head over here and see if we can find the yellow drop at all. And that one is kind of around the corner. And we'll see what happens here. So there is the terminal for the Megapithecus. You're looking for that. I do have a video on where all the terminals are located. Might as well drop that in the description. But here's our yellow drop. So at least this one is around. Let's see if it was worth the wait here. Oh, hey. An Ascendant Megalodon saddle. I'll take that. Armor 167. That should be pretty good. And then, yeah, don't want to deal with those guys down there. And then I'm just going to... Take one last look and see if uh, that red drop um, wanted to spawn while I wasn't looking. So <laughs> let's just take a look down here. And it looks like it hasn't spawned in. So anyway, that is going after loot crates for today here on Fjordor. Hope you found the uh, video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, of course. And we'll see you next time.